Welcome. Today we're going to demonstrate how to uh, set up uh, and run our U2 standard on a carton taping machine. So the first thing that we need to do is we obviously need to put the power into the, into, into the unit. And uh, we'll still see our screen lighting up. Okay, as it says, no cartridge. So uh, usually we keep the cartridge in here, like that, and then we'll take off the clip before and after every run. Okay, Put the cartridge inside and close the cap. So now what we need to do is we uh, want to set up our message. Okay, so we need to enter. Let's choose how many lines we want to run. So we'll just select one line. So from here, you, we can see no printed message. So the first thing that we need to do is, uh, as you can see, these two one they have stars, which means we can't edit those messages unless we take out the SD card, which is located in here, and actually do that on the computer. All the software and the manual and the program for all of this printer and software is on this USB. Inside the box, there will be an SD card reader by USB. Okay, anyway, so now we want to set up a new message. So we'll choose our, this is the main screen. We'll go to message number three because it says no printed message and it's blank. We'll hit enter. Okay, now we want to choose our font size. So up here you can see font, F1, so we'll hit F1. We also have time, expiry doubt, batch counter, uh, logos, which we can't, we need to do on the computer and barcodes and, and so forth. But basically now we'll do font. Okay, after we hit font, we need to choose the amount of lines. This, this printer is capable of printing four lines. Uh, at this stage, because we want to print the maximum printing height, we're going to select our font, which is button down, and we'll hit enter and we can see all the range of different font sizes. In this case, we want to keep it at 12.7, so we'll just hit enter, and then we'll esc out of that escape. So now we uh, want to print the message 2013 Heathcote Shiraz. Okay, so here we're going to press the ABC select, and that will give us onto numbers, similar to your old older series Nokia. Now we will just go 201, Three, space, now we'll go back to uh, letters by hitting this blue button just here. Now we'll type in Heathcote. Heath, H, E, A, T, H. So we need to hit it three times. O, and you can see here, T, E. Now I'm going to type Shiraz. So seven, four times to get PQRS. One, two, three, four. H R I A Shiraz. Okay. Now we'll hit enter. And our message is now saved. Now we'll hit escape. And now we need to save and exit, as you can see here. And we'll just hit enter. So, now our message is saved. Now what we need to do is select message number three, because that's the one that we've just set up for 2013 Heathcote Shiraz. Ah, now we're going to set up the delay, okay? So for each machine, this one is set speed because it's a carton taping machine. So it's only running at one speed ever. So what we need to do is we need to hit tab. See here? Now this will set up the delay. Okay, so now we're set up at four millimeters delay. We should, on message number three, as you can see here. So we can actually change the message. Yep, 
So, first thing we should, we should run through, though, is the speed test. We need to go, okay, so now we're going to printing on. On the remote, you can see print on. We'll just hit print on. It says, please wait. And we'll have printing in progress, and it will give us a message count and production count. Okay, so now we'll turn on our carbon taper. Missing a digit, but as you can see, 2013 Heathcote Shiraz. With the wrong spelling. So, now what we'll do is we'll actually fix that spelling up and I'll show you how. So, what we'll do is we'll printing off. So, yes, confirm printing. Yes. That's printing off. Now, we want to edit this message because it was the wrong spelling. So, what we need to do is we need to enter in. Now we need to check. You can see our cursor. So we need to add in the C. So after the T, Heath, H, one, two, three. So we're added in the C. Now we need to change the spelling for Shiraz. Okay, so you can see our cursor, SH backspacing, SHR, I. Hang on, I'll just start again. Just backspace out of that. S H R Sorry, S H I R A Z. Okay, now we can just press escape, save and exit. Now we'll just press printing on. Okay? No. Ah. One more thing, so we're just printing off. Now what we want to do is we want to set the delay, okay? So as you can see here, that's a four millimeters delay, okay? So if we get a ruler, this is where the photo cell is, and that's four millimeters delay. We want to, inc we want to put this message now cent centered here, okay? So we're gonna add, about 30 millimeters or 20 millimeters. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll hit this one here, tab, and you can see it says four millimeters. We will change that just by using the remote to 25. Now we'll just hit escape. Now printing on. Please wait, printing in progress. Okay, so now let's have a look. Okay, so we'll run through a couple more. It's nice and clear, 2013 Heathcote Shiraz. One thing to remember, after every shift, we need to take out the ink, put it in the cartridge, and we can turn the printer off simply by pulling the power out. Thank you for watching.